Hello, I'm Valerie Gibson, Professor of High Energy Physics, Fellow and Director of Studies at Trinity College, Cambridge. Sir Isaac Newton, one of the greatest of all physical scientists, entered Trinity College as an undergraduate in 1661 and remained at Trinity until 1696, by which time his most important mathematical and scientific work had been completed. Today we are in Neville's Court at Trinity College to measure the speed of sound, in the exact same spot as Newton allegedly once stood to make the same measurement. Just like Newton, we clap our hands at the end of the colonnade and wait for the echo that reverberates off the back wall. Unlike Newton, however, we are using digital technology to measure the time it takes the sound wave to travel down the outdoor corridor and return to our ears. Our two volunteers first measure the length of the corridor with a measuring tape. They then record a clap and the echo from the clap and then measure the time difference between the two sound waves. It seemed almost, but not quite, instantaneous. Since speed is equal to the distance over time, we can then actually measure the speed of sound itself. The distance was 63.7 metres times 2 as it has to travel back along the corridor to our ears. The echo took 0.37 seconds. Therefore, 63.7 times 2 equals 127.4 divided by 0.37 seconds equals 344.3 metres per second. We also need to estimate an uncertainty on our measurement. Say we know the distance and time to 5 to 10%, then our uncertainty is 18 metres per second. Therefore, our measurement of the speed of sound is equal to 344 plus or minus 18 metres per second. This agrees exactly with that expected. Because of his measurement of the speed of sound, Newton should be noted one of the many grandparents of geophysics, mathematics and the whole of the physical sciences itself.